This will take you straight to it, now. This is this one shot right into downtown and now. The only thing going on, man, right? St. Cuddy G, man, staying out the way. Neighborhood, Benny, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. PED Tokyo checking in, man. PED profit there, dollar on the dollar. You ain't got no dollar, ain't got no holler. I go to work every day trying to instill in the kids. You don't have to have the streets to be popular, to be successful. That's a picture of my granddad, man, from the Korean War. And this is actually a piece of history. It was on the uh, Black History uh, website for Griffin. Hey, what's up, guys? It's beautiful day here in uh, Griffin, Georgia. Welcome to Griffin, man. It's your boy Elway. Like you say, man, down here in Griffin, Georgia, south side of Atlanta, probably about 30, 45 minutes south of Atlanta, man. But we're going to show y'all everything we got to offer down here in my city, man, from the business to all the neighborhoods to just the people, man. The nigga ain't just rapping, bro. My man's just a business owner, you know what I'm saying, a real entrepreneur, a real, you know what I'm saying, nigga trying to do something in the city, bro. Like, man, it's bigger than just us. You know what I'm saying? My nigga be throwing events for the kids and shit, all type of shit, bro. But it's Rubio. He's smart as hell, man. This girl, she was actually my, 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 one of my boys' puppy. He died in a car wreck, man, right after he graduated college. I grew up around Rottweilers, man, so I was a young, young jit. Came up around Rottweilers. I had them. My uncles had them. And that's always been my love. Everybody in the South really like pit bulls and stuff, man, but I just always been a Rottweiler guy. So right now, hopefully I can get something out of these two in the spring or the summer. She just turned two and he's five. Drop it. Go. Summertime is the snake season, but they're usually around like lakes, ponds, wet spots and stuff like that. Uh, every now and then you might just have a random snake, but most of the time in the south of you, if you line your yard with like lime or sulfur or stuff like that, you keep snakes and all that stuff away. That's one of the things that people move to the south for, man, get a little piece of land, peace of mind. Big thing about my city, Griffin, Georgia has the most pro athletes out of any city in the United States, any sport. So y'all can Google that, research that. The number one city for professional athletes, Griffin, Georgia, right here where you at right now. Shout out to my boy Tim Beckham, man, Baltimore Orioles. Right back at 1118 George Circle, this is where I grew up at. Right here, this house. Three bedroom, one bathroom, me, my mom, my brother, my dad, and a whole lot of more people, man. My uncles at times, my other brothers at times, man. So I know where we was at, man. I'm gonna see if Miss Island let her check out the spot. The kitchen back here, dining room, kitchen right over here. A lot has changed since we were here because it's a lot more modern. It was a lot, you know, a lot of stuff wasn't this up to date. So this is where we was at. This is the living room. My room's back over here. Excuse me, excuse me. This is my brother's room. This is my room. We had the bathroom right here. And then we had our parents' room right here. That's all we had though, man. A lot of memories right here. We had the attic right up top, man. I used to have to climb up top to the attic every year to get them Christmas decoration down, get anything down, old clothes from the winter time and the summertime come. We had to put the clothes up top. So this is what we lived at, man. This is how this is what we made it all happen at. This is what we made it all happen at. Thank Miss Holly for letting us come in and check out. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. We appreciate it. Okay. You have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Like I say, man, 1118 George Circle, this is where we all started at, man. This, this, this gravel driveway right here, man, we used to dribble up and down the driveway. We had the basketball goal sitting right out here. We shoot ball all day, play basketball all day long, man. Me, O, and D had Big Snooty up here on the corner. And we had Tay Lane Pig stay across the street, man. Miss Grace used to live right there. Damn what about right. Spitter right here, man? Yeah, hey, man, what's going there, on, man? Spitter Danny, man. Y'all with the grader, man. Cream team up. South side, man, in the hood. Got my daughter with me, man. Yeah. The only thing going on, man, we're ready to send cut these kids, man, staying out the way. Real shit, you feel me, man? Go hey. make good music, kick it with them, grow up with them. You know what I'm saying? Kind of real good nigga. Hey, you know, know. You already know. Jump shot, though. Man, jump shot <laughs> five, man. You know we've been shooting back for our whole life, man. You already know what it is. Yeah, man. You feel me? What's going on? Where the jump shots are Real south side, man. You know this family right here. Yeah. We just keep real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I grew up, man. Man, taught them how to play ball and all that. You know? Real family, man. Going on in the hood. He, he always walk. Got my daughter with me. Tell, tell the camera what's up, no. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't shy. What's good, bro? Damn, my boy Ray. Yeah, what's good, bro? This is what we used to work out at on Sunday mornings, man. We used to come out here, get a good workout in. My partner Novak, coach at the middle school. Like I said, my boy Twan right here. We play on the team for the Korean team. And pretty much every year we, we be in the championship. If not real close to winning that thing, we in the second round. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere around that championship, though. 
But like I said, that's what it's about, man. A couple of the kids out there come out every week. You can tell the difference too. I'll give you his Instagram if you want. You guys, if you're ever in California, yeah, you can tell he's, the difference. He's, he's, he's good people of mine, so he'll he'll he'll, he'll, he'll show you love. Yeah, right? Great scale, man. That's my pops. He was in Vietnam. Man, that's and like you too. Then my grandfather, and he got like the, the Virgin Mary right mm -hmm. there, you know. So, but he's good, man. If y'all ever want a link, yeah, yeah. I'll give his info, you know. Okay. His name is uh, Horacio Martinez, and he's out of he's out of Oxnard, California. You know where Anderson mm -hmm. Pack? He just called his new album Oxnard. Mm -hmm. That's that's where he's out of that same area. Probably why you got so many great athletes that come out here just yeah. that cultivation. You for know real, what I'm saying? you you raising seeds, you know. For real, man, and, and, and that's what it's about. Do, yeah. A lot of the athletes don't even get a chance to make it as far as they can go because they get caught up early. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. that's well, the thing I'm, about it. If we can catch them early like that and just keep them in the sports and stuff like that, man, it'll be, it'll it'd be, be crazy. It'd be the little things for the kids. Cause me, I grew up in the hood and in poverty and it'd be like, sometimes your parents don't even got the money to get the uniform exactly. for you and then you can't even go, you know? Exactly. Right here on 1941, this, this will take you straight to it now. This is this one shot right into downtown and now. But I'm from the country though, so you know, I always came back and tried to show love to the hood, show love to my people. So I came and bought me a car wash, you know, just a little something to going on, you know, I, I can do for the, for the community. The only artist for real from Griffin, Georgia, that made something happen on the main scale, man, on the mainstream. Real business, man, it was about, man. Buy back the block, like I said, I own the, the uh, restaurant right across the street. 342 North Expressway, right across the street from the car wash where we just left at. Wink Cafe, Envision Barbershop, man, that's where I met with it. Five days out the week, Tuesday through Saturday, man. Envision Barber, I mean, Wing it, Wing it Cafe, we've been open now about three years, man. Three years we've been open right here. And if anybody know anything about opening the business, toughest, the toughest thing about getting started, man. So we done made it past the, the rough parts, man. So we, we looking forward to going uphill right now, man. So like I can say Wing it Cafe right here in Envision. I've been, I've been a barber now for about the better part of 10 years. So ever since high school, I, I've been cutting hair. So this is where the dream all started, man. My first ever self-employment was in the barbershop so take y'all on the inside and let y'all see what we got going on and today is sunday and we are closed man so like i say man real exclusive today i promise you yeah, yeah. like i say right now man we inside the wing cafe not too much to offer not too much to see not to the eyes man but i promise you some of the best food you have man but that's where it all starts Got some artwork on the wall for local artists. And just a couple pieces. A couple pieces over here. Everything done by local artists, man. I also let a, uh, a few of the local artists host the art show here and leave the art on the wall just to sell, just to display, because I know with art, it's not always a place to display your work unless you're at an art convention or you know somewhere like that where you get a chance to post it, graffiti or different things like that, man. So I just try to give other people opportunities as well, man. So that's another thing about us here in, in my city, man. We try to look out for each other. So. Take y'all in the back, man. Let y'all holler at my boy Al. Shout out to my boy Monty over there in the back. In the back. Yes, sir. AKA okay. okay. hey, Al Boogie, man. Uh -huh. All right. Hey. Your local neighborhood, everything. Cook, musician, it don't matter. However you want to do it, man. I do it all. Got my boy Al back here. That's like my little brother. He's been with the Bunnaby since he was about, what, 15, 16? <laughs> he started out working in the barbershop with me, man. Little Al came to me. Just like a grown man would, man. That's why I got a lot of respect for him, man. He told me he want to be in the street like that. He was like, look, man, I want something to do every day. When I get out of school, can I sweep the shop up or something? So I told him, come holler at me the next day, man. And he been right here beside me ever since, man. So like I said, he's like a little brother to me and a big help, man. He do a lot of things that I'm not able to do. And just anytime I need him, he one of the people I know I can call on to get something done for him, man. He handled himself like a real boss. Where I started at, this is my chair right here. That's where most of the magic happened. Waking up in the beginning of the day with empty pockets and making sure by the end of the night you got some money in them. It's always easy to be comfortable and work for somebody else, but it, it takes a little bit more faith to actually jump out there and, and work for yourself and do something that you might not be familiar with doing or something that you might not try before. But, you know what I mean, just just stick with it and I promise you if it's meant to be, it's going to be. I've been knowing Elway since he was about... Eight nine playing part recreation ball. Been watching him ever since. Always had the same vision. I'm just trying to be great, trying to be successful. And, and I told my guy, you know, whatever it is you need your body to do, man, I got your back. We're gonna move forward. Whatever we can do to move forward. Up is the direction. Forward and up. However you want to look at it. But you know, got to have somebody in your corner, man. Yeah. You cannot become successful by yourself. No definitely. Put yourself around the right people. Who got your best interests at heart 
got the same drive as you, and watch it work. Yeah, most definitely one of the biggest helps, just like what I was saying about my boy Al over there, another one of the guys I know I can call, and like y'all see, man, show up in no time, and that's pretty much anything I, I ever asked them to do, man, so. I'm far as, I literally far as just team. walked in the house <laughs> from church, like literally hey. just walked in the house from church, my yeah. boy, what you got going on, just got to the house. Yeah. But I need you to pull up at the shop. I'm on the way. Yeah. Like anytime he, I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on Good the guy, way. man. Yeah. Stand light wise, man. So that's just what it is, man. We know that what we got is special. And if we keep it going, man, we can probably change the mindset of our city and where we're from, yeah. especially the outlook of people. I go to work every day trying to instill in the kids you don't have to have the streets to be popular, to be successful. You can stay in this classroom, get your education, do what you got to do, exactly. graduate from school, go on off to college and get you get you something going, you know, get you a trade or something about exactly. your life and you can still be successful and you don't have to be in the streets. Neither one of us, we grew up around the streets, we grew up familiar with the streets, but we wasn't in the streets. Exactly. So I mean, we got sense of knowing what's going on in these streets, but because we had the foundation that we had, we know, okay, we don't have to go that way, we can go right, we don't have exactly. to go left. So now what we're doing is we're trying to pay it forward with the kids that's coming up now. Exactly. You don't have to go left. Go right. Do what's right. I always tell the truth. I guarantee you will become successful and it'll last longer. Exactly. The overnight success, that's all it is. The overnight success. Just as quick as it come, just as quick as it'll leave. Being from the hood, man, there's nothing wrong with being from the hood, but it's about, it's about what you do, what you, what you want to do, where you want to go. You don't want to always, you know what I mean? You don't have to stay in the same box that you are used to, you know what I mean? So it's about thinking outside of the box and what can you do to elevate yourself and your people. Back in the kitchen again, man, we the cafe. My boy Al, my boy El Boogie. Right now we got the loaded fry, he finished up right here. Uh -huh. We got a couple of the bonus wings, a couple of chicken sandwiches. We got a couple of wraps about to come up. Bitch in town, man, we in cafe, man. Y'all know it, get us. Man. Good food, man. And uh, if y'all like sweet tea, my grandma makes sweet tea. Yeah. That's my hey, lemonade. Uh, we have dessert right now, but my boy. Matter of fact, I think we got a cake down the bottom. So my mom makes the cakes, and my boy Monty he makes the cakes. So yeah, man, it's all right here, man. We just finished up the food. It was great. Thank you. Still up here at Wind Cafe, man. Like I said, them boys just checked out some of the food. Got one of my brothers just pulled up on me, and my boy A Green. Real positive influence on, on, on what I got going on in life right now, as far as business, music, everything, man. So I'll let my boy Green right quick, man. What's going on, man? A Green, better known as Dr. Greasy in the neighborhood. I get a lot of donations, you know what I'm saying? And what I like to do when I get them donations, I like to clean them up. Oh, uh, this is it. Somebody brought me like six pair of nine seeds. So I'm just gonna give him, I'm gonna donate them to him so he can donate them, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of stuff we do. We just gonna give back to the community every chance we get. That's it, about One one step at a time, literally. <laughs> one step at a time, man. So, like you just say, that's a blessing to me, man. So, now all the kids I come across in the barbershop business or just whatever we doing, man. So, like I say, man, y'all imagine how many you know, this this will make somebody child real happy, man. So especially a parent who can't afford something like this, man. So you got six, seven pair of Jordans right here, ready to go, already clean. You can't beat that, man. So as far as the community love, man, you gotta you gotta make sure you keep love going, man. So that's what, like I say, people that I try to surround myself with. So that's why I had to make sure y'all y'all met another one of my brothers, man. I'm a humble guy, but at the end of the day, I'm really pulling off some miracle, boy. <laughs> He definitely is. Why be hey, bringing me? I you saw the shoes say. I had, man. If you saw some of the shoes that, 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 that I took them, that I played ball in, I'm talking about beat up. And he brought them back. Out in the kitchen. Out in the kitchen. <laughs> he brought me some dust buckets. Get what? I blessed him. The young man over there in the corner, he's brought me some from his kid. From his kid. Yeah, I brought back my son's shoes. <laughs> Kyrie. He had all white Kyrie. They were beige. <laughs> You know how kids are in shoes, they ain't pay for them so they don't care about them, they just wear them. But I blessed them. Amen. And they, they were really like the color of this floor. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I said, bro, Brown. Man, this Supposed is a good feeling to be able to, like, I get, I get a lot of parents that hit me up, like, my son did this, my son did that, you know, and I know people work hard for their money, you know, and at the end of the day, kids don't really understand it, because as a child, I didn't understand, you know, I didn't value much. I didn't have to pay for it. But once I got, once I had to pay for them, you know, I walked light on these shoes. But a lot of kids don't understand it. But to be able to bless a parent, man, to be able to, to take a pair of shoes and tell her, you know, 
Give me ten dollars, you know what I'm saying? I clean them things up for you. Have them back brand new. Dylan Griffin Road on the east side right now, man. Right off of Chapel Street. Right here with a legend, though, man. I got my boy side show. Like I say, man, just a, a well respect the individual from where we from, man. Griffin, Georgia. You can tell y'all everything that's going on for us. Music scene and just not here, but music period. He's a music listener. I'm waiting for Elway to drop the project so soulful because he brings a different aspect to the game, especially from our city, like Griffin, rapping period. Because he really got balls and substance in his music, you know what I'm saying? And he giving y'all a different side of the music. So, you know, you got to respect that. And, you know, coming from where we come, you know, we got a lot of gangster street rapping, you know what I'm saying? And he just make that blend that mix in and give you something to think about you know exactly. and you got to respect that because they're hard in front of hard you feel me so what he gonna bring to the game gonna be great the mid take gonna drop you know what i'm saying gonna go up man oh, definitely. free promo if y'all ain't heard that y'all need to get on that that's a great song man you know what i'm saying we, and we got a list of talented people in our city and by oh, far man. he's a standout cream team they've been doing their thing not only locally here they've been bouncing around the city so and that's a great thing you know what i'm saying they networking putting themselves in position they gon' win cause they moving. And this your boy DJ Sideshow, man. Checking in. Fucking with the boy Elway, man. Cream team. And when that mid tape drop, man, so soulful. Y'all already know it gonna do numbers and he going up through there. Remember the name though. Elway. I told y'all that. Griffin Finders. DJ Sideshow King Elway, Griffin Georgia, man. Appreciate it. We up. Man, you know what I'm gonna do though? Yeah, man. What the fuck <laughs> going on, man? Boy Kyrie, man. Yeah. Boy Elway in the trenches, man. Every day with us. He a rapper though. <laughs> My artist over there. <laughs> and, uh, you feel we gonna put something together. You know, let them boys blow. Every environment, a lot of things coming in, man. But make sure that the most important thing is the youth is staying positive, man. It ain't about where you're from and what you're doing to get out, man. For real. Know that. Appreciate you, pal. I already want to talk a little shit. I already know what. You know it's all good. In neighborhood, Benny, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. PED Tokyo checking in, man. PED profit there, dollar on the dollar. You ain't got no dollar, ain't got no holler. You did. For what you're talking about, for what you heard, I'm about to ask him like a bird. A lot of history over here, man. You know what I'm saying? People don't did a lot of great things. A lot of bad don't happen over here. You know what I'm saying? We just growing up in the environment, man. This side of time, you know what I'm saying? Griffin GA, all, you know, Alibor, AMB. You know how that went, man. You see the shirt, man. You know the history, man. If you don't, just look into it, man. Everything's silent and real around here, man. Just Griffin GA, the east side. Got one of my big brothers, man. One of the big homies. My boy Skip Gully, a.k.a. Chip, man. What's if you saying, know what's him. Saying. Yeah, man. Just let him know a little bit. Something about, about the city, man, and what we got going on as far as the movement in the community and the music, man. What's up, man? I'm going to talk to y'all about Griffin, Georgia, man. The city that I love, the city we from, man. Airway, my little brother, man. We grew up on the same block, man. I grew up, I came up on that block a little earlier than him, so you know, what I mean? we we tried to keep him out of the way. He listened to a lot of things we said, knowing that we we were doing things that we didn't have no business. Let him know that that ain't the way to go. You know, what I mean, he took he he ran with it, man. Griffin, I mean, city just so misunderstood. I just want y'all to understand, man. We just real people down here, man. Real people with real talents, man. Real talents, man. If you listen to Airway's album, man. You're gonna love it. You're gonna fall in love with it. Black metaphor beats, you're gonna love them. You're gonna fall in love with them. It's just simple as that, man. Misunderstood community, man. Don't keep us locked out the box, man. Listen to us. All you all you have to do is we just let we just ask for open ears, man. Open ears around here, man. I mean, we're about 30 minutes off of Atlanta, man. You can't miss us, man. We got a lot of gang violence that's growing rapidly in our city. And we're just trying to be, we're trying to circumvent that, man, and trying to keep it at, at bay by putting positive things in these same young kids' head that's going the wrong way. We're trying to put positive, positive thoughts and feed them positive food every day, you know what I mean? And the holidays coming up, we're doing food drive, clothing drives, anything like that. Kites, when we flying kites with them, just let them know somebody care about them out here, man. We got a lot of kids in our city that, you know what I mean, they on the wayside. So, you know what I mean, we're trying to bring them back, make, make them feel like they're part of a family in the community around Griffin, Georgia, man. And that was you know what I mean? Shout out to every side of Griffin, Georgia, man. Everybody been pitching in, man. Every time we doing something, we're right to play our heads up. Everybody been pitching in, man. Shout out to the east side, west side, north side, south side of Griffin. From ninth grade all the way through, uh, 12th grade is where I live with my grandma. We just had some good wings. Yeah, I took them by the shop and they would get some. But hey, y'all see, that's, that's what grandma do. Grandma too. Yeah, yeah. We usually have Sunday uh, dinner over here, man. These, these are turkey wings. We used to have turkey wings, uh -huh. lima beans, Fried. and Fried. Fried. Fried chicken in the, in the cornbread. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Corn on the cob. First time Kyrie might have to fix your plate. But the second time, you on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I just wait till I come over here on Sunday to get my tea. If I'm gonna drink some, but I'm gonna let y'all taste it and let y'all yeah, make a mess, man. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. How about that? You want me to pour? There you go. I gotta get a nap because mm -hmm. I made a little mess already. Alright. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Uh -huh. Kyrie, mama usually kills me, but we ate out some day. Oh, yeah. She didn't want to come home and warm me. Yeah, right <laughs> <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Very good. Yep. I don't even drink tea. I don't like tea. Like I hate tea. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Like I don't. You don't ever go nowhere and order tea. No, I ain't never order tea, bro. Yeah. Well, you've been, been two times in my life. I had some good tea. Once, I don't remember where it was. A couple months ago, they had some good tea, and then this some good tea right here. My parents used to try to force the tea on me when I was little. You know? <laughs> I went, no, I went. That sounds it. crazy. Yeah. Like my mom used to make a whole pitcher of tea, and I'm like, man, I'm finna drink water all week. I got my first tattoo. I got my granddad name. Got his name on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's his first pair of glasses. Yeah, my first pair of glasses, yeah. that was from my granddad's. A lot of my jewelry I get from my granddad, man. I get it from my, my, my grandma, give me some stuff, and I go get a size or go get my frames or something. He had frames, you know? uh, his granddad's eyeglass frame. He put his lens in yeah. it. Yeah, man. But far as the business mindset, like I say, it just was instilled in me. My grandma, they do real estate. They've been doing <laughs> that for a minute. Since I was little, they owned the house that we used to live in, the house that we went to earlier. My grandma and them used to own that when we was little, so. And now my uncle owns that one. A couple more, my grandmama has a couple properties. And hopefully I'll get to join that, you know, that lineage too, man. I'll get to play around with some real estate and own me a couple properties too and see what they done went through. This table was what we had set up for our New Year's. We had family dinner over here, so we still got some stuff back on the table, man. A couple of the family pictures, though. You see my brother up there with his wife. And we got a picture right here, man. This is a... This is a very significant picture right here, man. This got probably one of the last family pictures we took with my dad, man. He died on New Year's last year, man. So 2018, January was when we lost Pops, man. But it's my dad. You see me, my brother, my nephew, my grandma right in there, my mom. Like I say, man, it's a, one that's special to me right here because it was one of the last family pictures that we all had a chance to take. Got some trophies in here, though, man. We got trophies from all of the family members, man, my cousins. We got, we got some of my dad's accomplishments still over here from when he played ball semi-pro back in the day. That's a picture of my granddad, man, from the Korean War. And this is actually a piece of history. It was on the uh, Black History uh, website for Griffin not too long ago. I think it was like three months ago. It was posted on Facebook as far as Griffin Black History, as far as being uh, a return war vet to open up his own businesses when he, come, when he came home. So, yeah, like I say, my granddad was a staple of the community years ago, man. One of the first uh, black business owners around town. This is my old room. It gave me a sense of this up here when I when I moved with my grandma it gave me a sense of uh, I guess you would say adulthood or just uh independence if you would because she would treat me as an adult, man. I had my own whole upstairs area. As far as being in high school and having your own, you know, semi apartment minus the kitchen, it was pretty cool. I, I would have an extra room for people to come and spend the night. I've seen pretty much everything though, man. Y'all seen what we got That was a good, 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 yeah. good day, man. Yeah, man. You guys met a lot of people from out here, so I hope you enjoyed it.